Yo, 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 what's good, world? What's good, man? I got an update I got to tell y'all about, man. It's about your boy Sauce Walker, man, the Sauce Factory, man, the Texas boy, man, himself. Um, Him and Johnny Dane got into an altercation, man, and uh, Johnny Dane's been a reputable type person I've seen in the industry, man, and uh, he's been solid. I mean, it's a lot of jewels out here, man. You got to understand, it's a lot of jewels out here that's fake, man. They say some fake stuff. It'll look real and 100% authentic, but it's a replica, or, you know, they, they got some type of connection where they purchase these replicas from, man, and, ah, oh, man, it causes a lot of, um, destruction, if you will, because these guys and everybody that has jury, including me, you must say, we all spend big money, man, you spend, you invest your time, your money into your stuff, man, you, you want it to be right, but, uh, whatever they have going on, what Sauce Walker said, he went to somebody else and got iced out, and, um, I got a video I need y'all to check out on this about the altercation and then as well as the grill that he got from this new uh, jeweler and he allegedly paid a million dollars for it. And if you ask me, it don't look like it's worth it. Honestly, I mean, to me, no grill is worth a million unless it, it got to be something crazy, man. Like, you can't replicate like that old grill Quavo had a while back ago. He had that one on one from Johnny Dane, you know, Johnny Dane visited him in Miami and whatnot, but, um, yeah, man, it's a video that got all the flaws of uh, your boy Sauce Walker's new million dollar grill, man, and some say that he should have stayed with Johnny Dane, maybe they can work it out, man, and, you know what I mean, just get it together, I got this clip I want y'all to check out, man, y'all check this out, let me know what y'all think, drop a comment, like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, man. I appreciate it, man. All the love, support. I got a lot of content, like I said, it's gonna be keep coming out for y'all. And when I'm able to go live, y'all best believe y'all better join the live, man. It's gonna be epic. We got we got a lot of coverage, man. It's it's too much to cover, man. And um, y'all just stay tuned, man. Check out this clip right now. <laughs> know each other man over some 20 years I never gave you shit for free and I never asked for free shit you know I'm happy you shop with me you buy jewelry everywhere in LA with my boy cat in New York it's all good it's all love everyone need to make it money it's no problem I know you just spend money for the grill it's all good but don't fucking disrespect my name, bro. Can't do that. Don't do that shit. Sauce. Breaking news. Sauce Walker has finally reacted to Johnny Dang, and no one expected him to do this. Well, attention, please. So, if you don't know this, Sauce Walker has decided to break up with his longtime jeweler, Johnny Dang, by saying he's done with Johnny's grills and is upgrading to a new jeweler, leaving Johnny heated and firing back. This came just after Sauce Walker's decision to get a $1 million upgrade for his jewelries. But Johnny isn't holding back, calling out Sauce for disrespecting him after 20 years of loyalty, claiming he's the one who put Sauce on the map with those iconic grills. But Sauce isn't backing down either. He's saying it's all about leveling up and getting that respect he deserves, especially when he's dropping serious cash, money money. Now, and Johnny's bringing in the community card, talking about how he's done so much for the culture. But Sauce is like, nah, fam, this ain't about that. It's about business and getting what's mine. The beef is real and the streets are watching. Who do y'all think is in the right? Drop your thoughts in the comments. But make sure you keep it respectful. This one's got everyone talking and it's far from over. Sauce, how long we know each other, man? Over some 20 years. I never gave you shit for free. And I never asked for free shit. You know, I'm happy you shop with me. You buy jewelry everywhere in LA with my boy Cat in New York. It's all good, it's all love. Everyone need to make it money. It's no problem. I know you just spend money for the grill. It's all good. But don't fucking disrespect my name, bro. Can't do that. Don't do that shit.
I've been busting my ass for over 20 years since I came here from Vietnam, from nothing. I bust my, I'm not perfect. I've been busting my ass every day for years. Working her, travel, playing her, but I fucking do respect nobody, nobody. You can name it. So when you use my name, please man, fucking say my name right. Or fucking don't even mention my name in your mouth. I did nothing wrong to you, bro. I know you've been here grill for years. So it's time to make the new grill. I even call you to ask you, hey, let's go to together for the dinner. And I even ask you this kind of about joining my nail salon so we can make money together. Am I right? I even started with your grill. Look, you knew that. I special design, very, very special. Make sure it precise, good size of the diamond, smooth, so it not be too heavy, too chunky, so you go into waiting for another years without messing your mouth. And for free, nothing but love, man. You, one of the few rappers I've been knowing for over 20 years. Nothing but love. I know, I know, man. Some internet shit, when they hear some free stuff and think, oh, you're going to do the Mozanize or CVDs. Man, fuck that shit. You guys talk a shit to another jeweler all day long. Like I say, I always support Houston families, the community, the city where I started from the bottom. It's all good. You can shop around the world, you know? You don't need to put my name in there, but if you mention my name, put some respect on my name. If not, give the fuck in my name out your mouth. 30,000 to 50,000 per two. 20, how many teeth in my mouth? 28. 28 teeth going all the way to the, to the back. All the way to the bite. And you know what we had to do? Uh, get in there, get in there, get in there. I don't know, don't go in there, get up in there, get up in there, in there. yeah. Yeah, these, this is the all of the basketball players of the, the Boston Celtics. They've been on the been on the scene for three years, earrings. You know what I'm saying? These earrings you go buy from the jeweler when you've been on the court for three seasons already. But guess what, I ain't got one player. I got the entire mother San Antonio Spurs earrings in my smile. Hey, Sauce. The you first. Know, it's not a, it ain't a million dollar smile without the million dollar thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. My birth certificate. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, man. I'm saying, what's up, my GIA? Do not play. I'm all GIA birth certificates for my baby and my mom. Thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a proud father. You know what I'm saying? This is something that a lot of you rappers came up with and you ain't got. And then. And the best they ever did it to get away with it. This ain't the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth time that I done beat you in the Diamond Wars of creativity and delivery. I cannot be seen when it comes to dimes and gleam, if you know what I mean. Yeah, them Adelaide earrings that y'all grew up loving and liked your whole life. What, what was that good, uh, uh, uh. Uh, what, what's that, what Chris Sucker movie uh, about the diamonds? What, 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 all about the Benjamins. Yeah, all about the Benjamins and, 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 and whatever that is, yeah. That's the, this is these years. Yeah, tell, tell Ice Cube, I found the bag of diamonds. I got the bag of diamonds y'all looking for, they right home. TSL business, Ace Time, Million Dollar Salon. I know y'all hate me. I know that y'all mad. Are you tired of Ignorant guy, steady. Yeah, nothing better than what I got in my mind. Which I don't understand. Johnny wants to put some smile in my mind because he didn't want to go the size that I didn't want to want to go to. Because he didn't want to do what I wanted to do for the money I'm trying to drop. I ain't trying to do this. I don't want no free. He wanted to give me some free shit that was way smaller than this. I don't want no free. I want some of my money and I want to go over the top, best of the best, biggest of the biggest, uh, make it work.
That's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit in your mouth. We're correct. It's not gonna. I don't give a fuck if it's gonna fit. Make it fit. So I went to a nigga that made it fit. Nigga that made it happen. Give a damn about what you talking about. I don't want nothing for free. I don't want no free diamond in my mouth. I want a free diamond boy chain for my partners to pass it around with all my wig and the rest of my gangsters. That's what it's for. I said I want the biggest diamonds possible going in, to go on my teeth. It's uncomfortably comfortable. If I knew it was gonna make my, my lips poke out, that's the point. I ain't even I wanted to win the diamond award. I said put I know I'm healthy. And them hoes really fit fleshy. They fit fleshy. I, I'm talking about you feel me. I've been around the world and nah nah nah. Niggas can't fuck with me. I got all the splash in, that's why. Niggas can't fuck with me. Niggas better hate us. Cause we the latest. Drop tops, Mercedes. Megatron, baby. Cyber, baby. That's what I should have said. I've been, mm, 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 mm. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, man, it's over with. Niggas can't fuck with this shit. Plug Geo. Not Johnny. Excuse me, dummy. I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't trying to be funny. I'm just saying, just say it correct. 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 Say it correctly. Correctly. Respect me. Stamp. And Lil Woody. Lil Woody fire now. He rapping? Yeah, yeah, he got a song called, uh, I Don't Recall. I just know the shit he's talking about. <laughs> really motherfucking jamming, too. No uh, yeah, yeah, nah, Lil Woody, my new favorite rapper. Uh, cause nigga, he everything these niggas wanna be. Yeah, nigga, he everything these niggas wanna be. He just broke one of the rules. And I know nigga done broke a bunch of the rules. He just broke one rule. And he trying to correct, well, he trying to correct his mistake. How you go, yeah, come on, my nigga. Yeah, and he, and he the retarded slow nigga. You can't fault him, nigga, man, nah, he, and he really the retarded slow nigga. Uh, I mean, most people don't know, and they probably do know. Uh, but man, that nigga had a shootout with, with his baby in his hand. That nigga had a handgun, and other people had AR. That nigga sat his baby down, and came back and went to shoot. Shit, that, that nigga my hero. <laughs> Shit, that nigga my hero. <laughs> he the new nigga superhero. Yeah. Uh, because he doing all this out of loyalty, nigga, at a default. He doing this all out of loyalty for a default. So that nigga was, he, he's the epiphany of what every street nigga want to be as a rapper. He rapping now. Uh, and he one of my new top five favorite rappers.